Welcome everyone to Mobile World Congress 2024 here in Barcelona, Spain. I'm Norm Follett, Senior Director of HPE Global Technical Marketing. It gives me great pleasure to give you a little bit of a walk around and show you what we're exhibiting here in our booth in Hall 3. We're organized into seven different distinctive areas and let's take a quick look and see what we've got in store for you. On my right, this is where we're talking about reinventing with, uh, with AI and automation. So what we're doing here is we're taking AI principles and we're applying them to the telco problem and the telco space and showing our customers how they can deal with some of the most difficult challenges in their environments, applying the latest and greatest technologies against those challenges. Over here on my left, this is where we have our HPE Aruba networking. Variety of solutions here, including simple and smart secure Wi-Fi for small and medium businesses, how they can instantly get up and running and operational with a very robust Wi-Fi environment. Also talking about our security first networking powered by AI and unified security and SD-WAN across the board. And we're also talking about telco grade switching for open RAN, which is a hot, hot topic uh, for all of our telco customers and enterprises alike. And in that area, we're specifically talking about how we reimagining your telco with cloud RAN technologies and the HPE solutions, which address some of the toughest challenges. We have many experts here, including such as my distinguished colleague and partner in crime, Adrian Casper. Just a quick shout out for Adrian and all of his hard work to make this showcase a reality. Our third area around these pedestals is growing your B2B business with private 5G and edge AI. Are you getting a theme here? We're taking AI across the board and we're showing how you can apply our technologies and our solutions to grow your business, reimagine your deployments and reinvent your thinking around some of the hardest problems and challenges going. This area, we also have a really neat, interesting solution where we're showing Athonet. You may have heard of that. We acquired them a year ago and they're our private 5G network providers. We have three different examples of what we're doing here. First of all, we have a traditional telephone network system and we're just showing how you automate that, how you manage it, and how you operationalize that type of the de deployment. Now remember, private 5G, self-contained, secure, off the grid. It can connect to the grid, but you can operate autonomously within your environment. We're also talking about AI inferencing on the top on a private 5G. Now, inferencing engines can run on a variety of networks. Our example here is how you harness the power of a private 5G and you use AI intelligence for video analytics. Then right over here, just behind us, this is where we're talking about an industrial solution and we're showing industrial robotics running on a 5G network and that industrial use case. Looks a little bit like a space theme, doesn't it? Let's expand on that right here. Here we're doing a bunch more work talking about what we're doing with the GSMA Open Gateway API. Again, working with corporate standards that are coming out of GSMA and applying that across the board. This area, we're taking a quick walk down how we're doing sustainable cloud architectures, how we're also applying OEM solutions with, with our partners, how they can take advantage, white label, black label, or different types of technologies and solutions. Uh, and we're also talking about what we're doing with HPE Electra Storage. So this is a very provocative storage solutions for telcos and enterprises alike. And then of course, we're wrapping it up and talking about how we apply services and technologies over the top, leveraging these solutions. And we can help you deploy those and make it operational for you today. So let's take a little bit of a walk over here. On my right, we're talking about our HPE Spaceborne program. This is a project that I'm so excited to be affiliated with. Since 2017, uh, nearly continuously, we've had the most powerful computers to ever operate in space flying on the International Space Station. So right now we have a couple of those chassis that are actually installed in the ceiling of the Columbus module, and we're bringing high performance compute and edge capabilities to the benefit of the entire international scientific community. What are we doing up there? We're doing computational work at the point of data acquisition. So rather than transmitting and, and collecting data and transmitting all this data at great expense, we actually do the work in situation and then transmit the answers and the results. Uh, that's just completely expedient from a, a, a cost factor, from a bandwidth factor, and from a time to value factor as well. 
And what's super exciting is we're taking all of these lessons that we've been learning in space, 254 miles above the planet, traveling at 17,500 miles an hour on the International Space Station, and we're pushing the edge. We're applying it to the next edge, and we're very, very excited about the possibilities of us participating in the upcoming Artemis missions and the exploration of the lunar surface. Let's take a quick look at what that means. Ladies and gentlemen, I am standing upon the Venturi Astrolab rover. Now this prototype, its operational cousin, is gonna be flying on a SpaceX mission in 2026. And we intend to be on that mission with them, bringing edge computational services to the surface of the moon. What does that mean? It means our explorers uh, and our astronauts and our, our scientists are gonna be empowered with the latest and the greatest and the most capable compute technologies coupled with the most advanced transportation system to ever explore the solar system. So stay tuned for that. Keep your eye on that progress. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. I know my colleagues are gonna take you through a variety of different demos as you watch these videos. We've had a terrific week here at Mobile World Congress 2024. We look forward to seeing you at HPE Discover in Las Vegas, and then back here in Barcelona a little later in the year. I'm Norm Follett, thank you so much.